Hi, I'm Merlin Tuttle, and I founded Merlin Tuttle's Bat Conservation because I am deeply concerned about alarming declines of bats worldwide. As you're about to see, bats are incredibly fascinating and important, yet intensely feared and persecuted just because we don't understand them. Contrary to what people often hear, bats have one of the finest track records on our planet of living safely with humans. They contribute billions of dollars annually to human economies. They provide services absolutely essential to whole ecosystems upon which we ourselves depend. They safeguard our health by consuming vast numbers of insects that fly at night, of pests that otherwise would force us to spray dangerous pesticides that already threaten nearly every aspect of our modern lives. As you're about to see, the world of bats is absolutely full of incredible creatures from the brilliant yellow-winged bats of equatorial Africa to painted bats of Southeast Asia, snow white, ghost bats of Latin America, and bats can be just as cute and winsome as any animal you ever saw anywhere. They can also be incredibly, incredibly strange, strange in their wonderful sophistications for navigation, some, some as strange as any dinosaur. dinosaur. They can also be jolly good fellows. Now, why am I concerned about bats and their conservation? Let's start with those that eat fruit and nectar, the Sonoran Desert in the southwestern United States. In this desert and going south through the Andes and out through the Caribbean islands, there are literally hundreds of species of agaves and giant cacti that rely on bats as their primary or exclusive pollinators and often seed dispersers as well. This long-nosed bat is about to pollinate a giant saguaro cactus. These bats, they are pollinating the agave from which all tequila is made. And if we go a little bit south into the tropical rainforest zone, we find that bats comprise half of all mammal species. They're incredibly important as pollinators and seed dispersers. In fact, they are absolutely critical to reforestation of cleared land. A bat like this can carry tens of thousands of seeds in a single night, and if just a tiny fraction of those survive to become seedlings, you could have more than 10,000 new seedlings annually from just one bat. Now, let's go all the way around the world to the African savannas. No tree is more famous than the baobab both for its ecological importance to other animals and for its economic importance. And yet it too depends on bats for its primary pollination. The fruit of the baobab sells for a billion dollars a year for the vitamin industry. If we go all the way around to Australia, again, some of the most economically important timber trees are bat pollinated. That's true throughout much of the world's tropical areas. Go to Southeast Asia and we find that bananas, wild bananas, the source of all modern commercial bananas worldwide, are still highly dependent upon bats for pollination. And if we don't protect the bats that keep these ancestral banana plants healthy, we could lose the genetic material required to keep our modern commercial bananas free of disease, and if there's anything that could be more important than bananas in Southeast Asia, it's the durian. Each durian flower has to be pollinated by a bat in order to set fruit, even if it's grown in an orchard. And this one crop sells for billions of dollars annually. Go out to the Pacific Islands and the mangroves, which are critically important for flood control and erosion control, and also provide homes for a wide variety of seafood creature reproduction. These too rely on bats. This is just a few of the 10 to 20 million freetail bats that live in Bracken Cave, Texas. These bats, in a single night, 
consume between 100 and 200 tons of insects. Not just any insects, Doppler weather radar shows us where these bats go at night. Here we see three red blotches indicating bats coming out of Texas caves. And over here we see orange stippling. That is caused by crop pests coming out of agricultural areas. In just 12 minutes now we see how the bats have crossed many miles to reach the area of insect density. They're engulfing them, eating incredible numbers. But that's not even the most important thing they're doing. They're also flying thousands of feet above ground, intercepting incoming moths. Each of these moth pests coming in from Latin America is carrying between 500 and 1,000 eggs. If this bed eats just half of its capacity in a night, it's going to prevent these moths from laying between 10 and 20,000 eggs. That's enough to cause a Texas farmer to spray two to three acres with pesticides if the bat isn't there to eat the moths. Imagine if one bat can do that, what a whole colony eating 100 to 200 tons of insects can do. When hundreds of thousands of bats first began to move into newly created crevices beneath the Congress Avenue Bridge in the middle of Austin, Texas, where I live, public health officials warned vociferously that these bats were carrying dread diseases, rabies in particular, that they were a dangerous threat to human health. People were signing petitions to have them eradicated. When I came and pointed out that if they would just put up little signs warning people not to handle the bats, that they could live safely with these bats with great value. Today, these bats attract tourists from all over the world. These spectacular emergences can be seen from more than a mile away among the most spectacular events in all the natural world. And these tourists spend millions of dollars in Austin each summer, while the bats eat tons of insects each night. If you have any doubt about how people of Austin feel about bats, look at how many people turn out to celebrate Austin's bats. The people of Austin don't have to worry about somebody's speculation that bats might be sources of dread diseases. They know from experience that bats are incredibly safe and invaluable neighbors. I hope each of you will want to go out and join with Dr. Amin in spreading the word everywhere about the value of living safely and harmoniously with bats. Thank you.